Hi everyone, uh, welcome uh, back to the channel. Um, it has been a very, very long time since I uploaded a video. Um, this is going to be ATIS Information Foxtrot, uh, which uh, I think I think I shot ATIS Information Echo in October of 2019. So yeah, it's been a very long time. Uh, anyway, for those of you who are still here, I appreciate your uh, patience and your support. Uh, so I wanted, I just wanted to shoot this video and and give you a bit of an update and let you know that I think I'm uh, I'm back and I'm ready to go uh, back, uh, full speed back into uh, building and flying uh, airplanes if if I remember how. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, just just a bit of a background. Um, you know, even just prior to the pandemic starting, uh, I was uh, I apologize, my throat's a little uh, rough. I'm just getting over a, a cold, but. Um, just yeah, just before the pandemic, uh, you know, I was getting a bit uh, burned out with uh, with things, and uh, uh, so I had slowed down quite a bit. And then the pandemic came along, and both the fields I fly at are are club fields, so um, you know, never was really sure how many people were going to be there or anything else. And uh, so anyway, uh, haven't flown uh, probably in about three years now and uh, haven't built an airplane in uh, much longer than that. Uh, but I, 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 got, I think I have the bug back and I'm ready to go and now that it's, we're full on, it's actually snowing uh, pretty, pretty good outside. We're in the winter, uh, time to uh, you know, build, build some airplanes and you know, get, that, uh, get that fire in the belly back to get out uh, flying. Uh, just a bit of an update on uh, flying fields. The, the flying field at Merville, um, where I used to fly, uh, that was sold, um, I think maybe just prior to the pandemic, so over two years ago. Uh, it's no longer a flying field, it was bought by a farming family and I think the runway was plowed up and uh, there's crops growing there now. Uh, I'm still a member of the Campbell River uh, Club. Um, the one, if you've seen some of my videos, I didn't do a lot of flying there, but it uh, it was in an old, uh, like a gravel pit quarry, if you want, with uh, like a fabric, uh, black fabric runway. Uh, even though I wasn't flying, I maintained my membership there, and uh, <clears throat> that's probably where I'll get back into flying. Uh, the club from Merville did move to another location, um, but I, I have not kept my membership going there. But uh, anyway, we'll, we'll uh, see how it, uh, it goes. Uh, so where are we going to go uh, uh, building-wise? Well, this is uh, my tried and true uh, NAMSI MiG-35B, uh, North American MiG Consortium, which uh, uh, doesn't exist anymore, but I was part of that team and instrumental in uh, designing and testing this airplane. So this this airplane uh, has well over 500 flights on it, this particular airplane. Uh, it's one of the last, well, the last airplane I have that's built um, pretty much completely of Depron. The fuselage up here is uh, model plane foam, and the KF airfoils are uh, paperless uh, Dollar Tree foam. So this will be the first airplane that I build. I've actually got uh, a couple sets of plans printed out already. Uh, the changes will be, this one I actually built with the um, motor one inch further forward than stock. So I will be doing the same thing on the new airplane that I build. And I'm also going to be downsizing it uh, to uh, 25 and a half inch wingspan. I found over time that that's just the size that I really, really like uh, for, you know, speed, agility, and uh, also, but also still having good, pretty good stability in the wind. So I'm going to try that. Uh, I don't, actually don't think I've ever built uh, a MiG-35B in that size. I did build one a long time ago with a 24-inch wingspan, but uh, it, it was very, very fast and nimble, but it was not uh, terribly great, uh, stable in the wind. So I'm hoping 25-and-a-half-inch wingspan will give me that sweet spot that I, that I really like. Uh, so I'll be using the same power setup. Um, as I have on this one, the, the old GEP RC 2306-2750 um, Hobby Wing uh, Platinum Pro 40 amp speed controller, and uh, it'll be um, you know capable of flying uh, using 3S and uh, uh, 4S. So I'm excited to get into that one, and uh, it will be also the next build will also be uh, Depron just like this one, 
I do have enough Depron left, I think, to build a, a complete airplane. Although I will uh, use, because I don't need the extra strength from Depron, I'll use model plane foam for the fuselage. And uh, my favorite uh, thickness of foam for my KF airfoils will be a paperless uh, Dollar Tree foam. Um, the second airplane that I'm going to build is... Uh, and I will actually, I should mention, I'm not going to retire this one uh, anytime soon. I'm going to keep this. Uh, when I do get back out to the field flying, this will be probably the airplane that I fly to get, uh, uh, you know, three years plus uh, worth of rust off my, my fingers and thumbs. So I will be keeping this uh, airplane uh, going. So the second airplane that I got plans built for is... Uh, uh, an RC Powers SU-30 version 4, uh, which I will be building uh, very similar to this, uh, you know, quite quite a bit modified. It won't have, it'll be essentially identical to this airplane, but a different uh, color scheme. And I will be building that one primarily just like this one out of uh, Dollar Tree foam uh, with, uh, you know, some some Depron for strength, uh, the, ver the um, Elevons, the uh, vertical stabilizers, and the, the fuselages here on the bottom. This particular airplane I'm holding here in my hand, this one also has uh, over 500 flights on it, so it's, uh, it's time to uh, <laughs> probably to replace that. And this one, um, you know, going way, way back, I flew this one so much that when I started to fly it on 4S, the, uh, I was getting high-speed wobble, one of my Elevons was... Uh, was flapping up and down, so it's time, uh, you know, if I'm going to really crank on the speed, uh, time to get a new one, uh, a new one built. So I'm excited. Uh, this one's even got some cobwebs on it from being out the garage for so long. But uh, anyway, and same power system, Gep RC, uh, you know, my my uh, favorite power system. So let's put this back over here. Um, I do still have, I, I have my F-35, RC Powers F-35 version 5, you may not be able to see it, but uh, I don't, I think I'm probably going to retire that one. I still do have my um, highly modified and downsized RC Powers F-18 version 3, uh, so I'm hoping that after I, you know, get some rust off my thumbs, I'll take that back out and fly because I, I just really love how that plane flies and uh, how it looks. So I've already got the plans printed up. The the um, the MiG 35B will be built at 94% to give me that 25 and a half inch wingspan. The uh, SU-30 version 4 will be built at 84%. Uh, I may do a few videos on the build of the SU-30 version 4 uh, because it is a Dollar Tree foam uh, build, which you know has some uh, you know Dollar Tree foam is obviously very inexpensive. And it, but it's a, um, it takes a little bit more, uh, uh, a little bit more attention to detail in uh, preparing the foam and in the build to get, make sure that you get uh, good strength and durability uh, out of that. So I may do a, a bit of a video series um, on that just to share my, my tips and, and techniques um, uh, on that build. Um, as for the rest of the future of the channel, um, I won't be, uh, you know, I won't be doing all kinds of uh, component testing, um, you know, motors, uh, things like that, Even, you know, maybe a prop or two if I, if I, if something really catches my fancy because those aren't expensive. You know, I think after many, many years of trial and error, uh, I have the power system and the servos and everything else that I, that I love to use and I, I still have plenty of those, you know, with especially with, uh, you know, supply chain issues and inflation and everything else. I, I don't want to be going out and buying a whole bunch of new things just to test, especially if they may not be something I use. I, I just love the power system that I use primarily right now. It's good on 3S and on 4S with the props that I like to use. And, uh, you know, I just get uh, plenty of fun and they've been very, those components have been very, very uh, durable. So... Anyway, uh, thanks again for those of you who uh, have, have been um, subscribed to my channel for many, many years. I, I, as always, I appreciate your continued support. Uh, and, uh, you know, I hope that to share more of my return to the hobby, to, to uh, my, my love of building and flying park jets here over the next uh, little while. So thanks, thanks again for watching, <coughs> pardon me, and supporting my channel. Uh, blue skies, calm winds to everyone. 
Park Jet Noise, the other sound of Freedom Baby. Take care.